in last example i created a header.jsp which comprise of the tags responsible for creating the header part for demonstration purpose i just created a h1 tag now because the header is common to all the J jsp pages in our application so we used the include directive in rest of the jsp pages so that the part which is common to all the pages like the header part is included at translation time but the limitation with this include directive is we can include only the resource which is part of our application let's create another folder another example folder in web apps suppose the application's name is abc and let's open this example in this abc example i want to create a jsp page let's save this page uh, and the name of this page is uh, aaa dot jsp right and save this page now you can see that in abc application we created a triple a jsp now insert h1 tag this is for just demonstration i'm creating some a basic minimum page and just type triple a dot jsp from abc application now and back to our example and i just want to include that jsp suppose we want to access the resource from abc application the resource name is abc a triple a jsp http colon slash slash local host colon 8080 slash abc application and inside the abc application there is a resource naming triple a jsp right in triple a jsp for simplicity we just write the h1 tag delete all the content why because uh, this content will be copied and will be pasted here and the include directive will be replaced by the content of the triple a jsp and triple a jsp's content is only just an h1 tag this is the absolute url that is why i specified the complete url here and now just i want to try the index.jsp just refresh it so i made all possible efforts to demonstrate to you that it is not possible to access the resource outside the application so let's begin with the jstl we have c import tag you can say an equivalent tag for include directive but which the the import tag is much more powerful here we have to use the url attribute it is a pure tag it is not a scripting jstl tag requires you to write the taglib directive so i inserted the taglib prefix and uri after taglib directive i can use this tag now i want to specify the same uh, url again http colon slash slash local host colon 8080 slash the application's name is abc and the resource name is triple a dot jsp and once again i want to show you the content triple a jsp from abc application and the changes made in only index dot jsp page so i'm just refreshing this index dot jsp page again and this time you are able to see the inclusion okay so in include directive when i tried to access the outside application resource then the error was showing that not found but when you use the jstl you simply able to access the resource from the outside application in one more effort what if i type www.google.com and once again refresh this page you can see that index page footer but here in the header part i just included something which is beyond our application so we simply included that part as well right so this import tag from jstl allows us to include the resources from outside the application maybe the resources we are including is uh, served by some other servers from other applications residing in different servers right so see you in next video